guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show, and I'm here to share another print with you today, a 3D print that I made on my Anycubic uh, Predator 3D printers, and uh, it's a pretty cool one. It's a useful one here today I'm showing you, and it's a doggy door for my screen porch, uh, doggy door flap framed in, and uh, right now we use like a table, a little table we move in front of it when we don't want the dogs to go out. Uh, and I thought, well, that's been such a nuisance and uh, to do that every time. So I created this doggy door. This is the second version. My other one, they actually smashed through it. So this is the heavy duty version. And uh, it consists of two door pieces. This is an extension I call. This is the main door. And then the hinge that you're gonna mount to the frame. And two, two locking dowels that hold the extension on. It goes together just like this, guys. That extension goes in there. There's two dowel holes right there. The two dowels go in there to reinforce this so that this door is not gonna pull out. And I'm gonna RTV those in there. And then the hinge like this. So we'll screw this into the frame and then this can just easily go on and off and we can open this door whenever we want to let the doggies out. So stick with me. I'm going to go out to the screen door, mount this after I RTV these dowel locking pins in. All right guys, so this is the outdoor screen patio. It's a beautiful day out here today on the lake. And this actually is the doggy door. See, I have that dirty old orange table there blocking so that the doggies can't go out. And then when they do want to go out, we'll just move this table. Kind of over like that. And then the doggy door is open for them. So here's my 3D print. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the hinge bracket on there. And we'll see how it goes. All right, I got some self-tapping screws here. And I'm going to mount it in the middle section here, just eyeballing it. And we'll put some screws in there. I'm going to just put two screws in here right at the hinge pin areas. And I've got these self-tapping screws for sheet metal. All right, got it mounted, guys. Take our door and just slide it on here. Looks good guys, I'm happy. Now hopefully the doggies can see this color. It's like a forest green and that table used to be, uh, or it was orange. So I'm gonna have to train them out here for a while and make sure that they get a hang of having a door here. so they don't smash through it. Now, to be honest, I did have another one of these designs, prototype number one, and it was a lot thinner, and they bashed right through it. So that's why I made this one with the dowel pins, and it's a little bit thicker. open for business. Very nice, I'm happy with it. We'll see how long this one lasts. Guys, thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos and I'll see you on the next one.